He is known for being a Barbadian novelist, essayist, and poet. He gained critical acclaim for his debut novel, In the Castle of My Skin. His name is George William Lamming. In the world of literature, there are pioneers who leave an indelible mark. One such luminary is George Lamming, a Barbadian novelist, essayist, and poet. His literary journey began with his debut novel, In the Castle of My Skin, published in 1953. This work catapulted Lamming into the spotlight, earning him critical acclaim and establishing him as a formidable literary voice. Hailing from Barbados, Lamming's writing encapsulated the experiences and struggles of post-colonialism and the African diaspora. In the Castle of My Skin delved into themes of identity, oppression, and the complexities of growing up in a colonized society. Through vivid storytelling and poignant characters, Lamming painted a vivid picture of life in the Caribbean, capturing the nuances of both joy and hardships. Lamming's impact extended far beyond his compelling narratives. His knowledge and insight culminated in academic positions at prestigious institutions like Duke University and Brown University. As a distinguished visiting professor, he shared his wisdom with students and lectured extensively worldwide. His contributions to the field of Africana studies were invaluable, shedding light on the rich cultural heritage of the African diaspora and inspiring future generations to explore their own narratives. George Lamming, a renowned writer from the Caribbean, left an indelible mark on literature with his greatest literary achievements. Among his notable works were six novels, each offering a unique perspective on the Caribbean experience. One of his most acclaimed novels, In the Castle of My Skin, served as a captivating coming-of-age story intertwined with the story of the Caribbean itself. Following the success of his debut novel, Lamming continued the journey of his autobiographical character, G, in his second novel, The Emigrants. G. embarked on a transformative journey from Barbados to England, driven by the pursuit of better prospects and opportunities. This sequel added depth to Lamming's exploration of identity and the challenges faced by those in search of a brighter future. Lamming's fictional works, Of Age and Innocence, and Season of Adventure, transported readers to the fictional Caribbean island of San Cristobal. These novels captured the essence of Caribbean life and delved into the complexities of society. Additionally, Lamming's 1972 novel, Water with Berries, ingeniously employed Shakespeare's The Tempest, exposing the flaws within West Indian society. However, it was Lamming's final novel, Natives of My Person, that garnered widespread acclaim. Jan Carew, writing in the New York Times, hailed it as Lamming's finest work. The novel shed light on previously unexplored aspects of the colonial past, providing a revolutionary and original perspective on the region's history. In the late 1970s, much of Lamming's work had fallen out of print. Fortunately, Allison and Busby recognized the significance of his writings and reissued several of his titles, including his collection of essays, The Pleasures of Exile. In this collection, Lamming skillfully analyzed the place of West Indians in the post-colonial world, drawing on Shakespeare's The Tempest to explore personal identity and the Caribbean's historical context. Lamming's exploration of intellectual and cultural issues continued in his later work, as evident in his collection of essays titled, Coming, Coming Home, Conversations 2, Western Education and the Caribbean Intellectual. Do you want to explore more novelists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.